Good afternoon or good evening. This is the Townsend FinCom meeting for April 14th. I'm calling to order at 6.06 .06 p.m. And I need a roll call vote for members of the Finance Committee. Gerald Bazekas. Mark Hussey. Sam Grant. Wood. Okay, and Don Hayes. With that, we have five. We are present for, uh, or we have a quorum for the meeting tonight. Um, this meeting is being recorded and played live on Channel 9. Uh, and at this point, I, I um, didn't, did not ask about additions or deletions, but um, I think I, I will delete the review correspondence as we did that just two days ago, and uh, we'll move we'll move forward. Um, and um, I had left next section two, the, the meeting business. Um, I left the transfer review from the Tuesday meeting just in case we needed um, to visit them if, if we didn't get to them on Tuesday. So uh, we we are good with the with the re, with the with the uh, transfer um, requests that came in and they were signed. Um, and we have um, next is the work session, and we wanted to get to reviewing the warrant and the omnibus budget and start making the um, FinCom rec um, recommendations for tonight. Um, and I will ask Ross if you were able to get a copy of the warrant to me. Yes, I, I sent you one um, this afternoon and copied all the um, finance committee members and Veronica. You got it. Terrific. I'm already here on the side. Okay, um, spam, you know, let's, <laughs> ah, you're going to spam these days. <laughs> um, that might be an overall message, but okay. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I hadn't thought, uh, thought of looking in spam for a while because we've been pretty active. Um, okay, so we got to take you out of spam before I can do anything with you. And that's where everything's going. Unbelievable. Okay. Well, that's. Okay. Oh. Uh, does anyone need to screen share? Um, yeah, that will be me, Don Hayes, under. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me uh, let me let you screen share on uh, your uh, your laptop. Okay, thank you. Okay, Don, did it come through? Um, I did not see it. Let's go back to Zoom. All right. Let me let me let me do it on your okay. uh, on on the selections. No, thing. I I can I can I got it. Okay, great. Yeah, I just had to get to the page. Now, nice page. Any more? Okay. So email. Okay. Uh, and. Okay. Um, so this this would be special town meeting. I'm just going to go through, and yeah, it looks like the three articles. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I'm just getting so article. Article one, um, do you want me to read them or just have you read it from the screen and then? 
we can discuss. Can everyone see it? We can see it right up here in the screen. Okay. Yeah. So if people at home can see it, I think we're good. Okay. Did anything change? Um, this this came in this afternoon, so this would be nothing. Nothing changed. No changes to Article One. Yeah. Uh, just gonna open up. Okay. So, so warrant warrant article. Sorry, this is okay. So warrant article warrant article one the, to see if the town will vote to transfer from free cash or other available funds from the treasury the sum two thousand eight hundred twenty-six dollars for the for paying a prior prior year fiscal bill to Unitil. Um, Is there any discussion? Questions? Well, it's a leftover bill, so I guess we've got to pay it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, if there's no... If there's no comment, no questions, um, I would entertain the motion that uh, to, to accept and approve um, or recommend that the FinCom recommend this article for town meeting. I'll recommend that we pay the 188032 pass unit two bill. 188 03? No. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I, I read the wrong one. 2826. Okay. I'm just two surprised. Eight six. Yeah. Yeah. That much. I second that. Okay. Second by Sam. Um, if there's no further discussion, roll call vote. Jerome Dezik is yes. Mark Huffy, yes. Andrea Wood, yes. Sam Grant, yes. John Hayes, yes. Um, so I'm just going to jump here. The special, we're going to say recommended. Um, um, I don't know if this is paying. Oh. Pass bill. Yeah. All right, article number two. Uh, to see if the town will vote to transfer from free cash or other available funds in the treasury the sum of one $198,928 uh, for the purpose of offsetting the fiscal year 22 snow and ice deficits under the Mass General Laws uh, submitted by the Board of Selectmen. So there you go. We're going to move to approve, um, I'll recommend this pass at town meeting. Uh, and did, did I hear a second from Mark? Or? Oh, yeah, no, I second. Um, I just wanted to make yeah, sure I, did, I didn't say it, but I will. Um, any further discussion? Questions? This, this number, I think, is final, but it might change up by a little bit. And I'm going to recommend the motion at town meeting will be to fund it from free cash. Okay. Thank you, Russ. So hopefully your vote will will allow a little bit of an increase if if it changes. I'm up for that. A little bit, not a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> Ross. Understood. Article yes, one. Article one is from free cash two. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. I, th um, I think we we had the sheets on Tuesday that that showed the the items that was going to be paid for free cash. So it's up. Um, we want to amend the motion instead of being a fixed amount that it's the fixed amount or a percent above not to not to exceed or give it a not to exceed number yeah. well, you, could just, you could just yeah. vote to approve paying, paying the, the nice deficit um and i you know i don't 
And I just, as long as you're comfortable saying if it increases, you don't need to revote or mm -hmm. doesn't invalidate it. I think that's okay. Well, if it increases too much at town meeting, um, uh, I would assume John Barrett wouldn't um, let it go through because the the rule by town meeting time is you can always lower a budget, but you cannot raise it. In the past, he's let it go if it's been for a few dollars, but more than that, no. Yeah, that's fine. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So do we need to throw a number in there? Or? So, Andrea, we do need to throw a number there, right? For snow and ice? Yes. 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 Okay, well. Um, what if we just add another $10,000? It went up $10,000 from our last time. Right, and, and that was probably the payment of the stipends this week. Uh, yeah, there was 6000 for that. That's correct. Yeah. So are we going to yeah. add? Go ahead, Andrea. If you do that, and uh, the, I'm not objecting as such, but you mm -hmm. realize then you're tying up an extra $10,000. It it's become as well as spent until it can be voted out again. Uh, um, with, with respect, th this is not the motion. This is just that you're supporting the article. So right. The, the motion that gets moved hopefully will be exactly this number, but it will mm -hmm. be whatever necessary. So you can approve more. Oh, but we're only going to move what is needed. That's not so, my problem. My problem is. Just, I hope that everybody understood that if, for the sake of the motion or whatever, if we didn't have an exact figure, if we added an additional $10,000 to the sum, it would tie the money up for use. It, it doesn't, if it came in at less, that didn't mean that we then could use that extra 10. It would have to be voted out at another town meeting. That's all. So we can keep that same number and then add to it uh, if more is needed. That's not the correct terminology, but. Hmm. Well, it, um, you could talk to John and ask him how much he would allow it to go up. That could be a game time decision if we see numbers change. I, I'm, I'm okay right. with you moving and supporting the numbers printed here. Um, you know, worst case, if it changes, I don't know if, if I think if you've got a posted meeting for the night of town meeting, you can have a sidebar and vote to approve the increased amount. Yeah, we could do that. Um, but I, I'm, I will hesitate increasing this because of what I'm hearing Andrea say, and I agree with is that it's not good form to increase a number mm -hmm. from the warrant. I don't know that it's illegal, but it's not good form. I don't think right. right, we just leave it like it is. And leave it like it is. Do a leave quick it. meeting beforehand. Yeah. We're going to know if it goes up. Or a side by like you said. Okay, we're good then, right? We're, I believe we are good. Any other questions? Does that throw any, what we just discussed, does it throw any questions? out there that need to be brought up. How much money do we have in free cash? Um, at, the, at the moment? Yeah. Yes. $901,000. With everything that is planned in the modified warrant that you're looking at tonight, I've got that here. Um, With everything that's planned, because we've made some changes uh, last night at the selectmen's meeting, there will be $193,928 left in free cash after the various articles that are proposed if they pass. Okay. But that, that's, I was going to say, that's better than the number we were talking on Tuesday. Yes, the selectmen voted to pull some of the warrant articles, um, such as the building repair articles, out of the warrant. Yep. And we'll get to that when we get to the capital articles. 
Okay, then I guess we have a motion um, to for the finance committee to recommend Article Two, um, paying the um, from avail from free cash the hundred ninety eight thousand nine hundred twenty eight dollars, um, and we had the motion and the second, so a roll call vote to support paying this. Carol Bazik is yes. Mark Hussey, yes. Andrea Wood, yes. Sam Grant, yes. Ron Hayes, yes. Okay. Um, any quick note we but uh, just uh, snow and ice deficit? Yeah. We got to pay it. Right. Okay, well. Okay, Article 3, to, sign, to see if the town will vote to transfer from free cash or other funds the sum of $50,000 to cover unanticipated expenses for MIS. So moved. How close is that $50,000 to what it will be needed? I hope it's very close. We've gone through a stack of invoices uh, for Guardian for their services, and we believe after we've redistributed some to various different departments and covered some with ARPA, that the fifty thousand is is the number we need. Um, I guess I'm more certain on the snow and ice number than I am on this number, but fifty thousand is what we've printed mm -hmm. in the warrant. We really did end up under budgeting for MIS. But I guess, it, it, yeah, um, that I guess would be a big question as we when we get to the MI, the IT budget between the um, equipment failures that we had and, and paying those. Um, is this? It, 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 I'm looking at it, we have a bill, you said there's some that is gonna get paid with opera money, so the amount we owe them is higher. Um, so I guess, the, not maybe not specific to this, but well, maybe it is because it's coming here, um, that this amount plus the opera money that are, that are covering it um, would, would add to, I, I guess, I'm trying to understand how how is not not impactful and needed in next year's IT budget to go along with the the hundred and two thousand that we are or about hundred and two thousand that we have had allocated this year. Um, so with with that with this fifty and the and the other upper money, are we are we budgeting properly in in the omnibus for FY twenty three? Fair question. Um, when I've checked with the MIS folks, um, they seem to think that the, the amount for next year is adequate. Again, there's some ARPA funds and some of the one-time expenses they did this year, hopefully won't be needed next year. So uh, I have gone, asked them multiple times and they've said they think that's sufficient. Okay, um, so I guess the question is going to be if we're going to explain why we why we need another fifty thousand dollars. What is this for? Is what what's this fifty thousand for? It, is this strictly support for users, or is it something you know? Payments, it's payments quarterly payments. Okay. It's a combination of support for users. It's a paying off the. Um, the quarterly bills to Microsoft, the ones we talked about at the previous meeting that are now going to be annual. It's, um, it's, it's the full gambit of MIS services. Okay. Okay. So I, I guess that, that's the piece. If anybody has a question, um, when we come to the information session, we pro probably should have a good list of what all, what all those are. Okay. Um, good point. All right, I'll second Gerald's motion. Okay, then, sorry, we... No, <laughs> I, that's, I, I no, that's good if we need to know. Um, okay, so we had a motion to recommend 
Um, Article three, we had the second. Um, any further discussion? None being heard. Uh, roll call vote, please. Alan Bazik is yes. Mark Hussey, yes. Andrea Wood, yes. Aaron Grant, yes. Don Hayes, yes. Um, so. English grammar better. Okay, so that that is the special three articles, and we're all set. Um, did you have the, did you forward the, um, what are you looking for? I'm looking for the annual town meeting warrant. It was, I only saw a special in there. Maybe I didn't go down far enough. It, it, it should all be the same document. It, yeah, I just saw, I only went, I went to the posting page and, and, uh, did not. Scroll further. There you go. Yep. Reading. Okay. I'm looking at this and, and seeing that Article 1 um, is not a financial article. Um, so I, I would say that. We we don't recommend or or not. So we, I I just put. It, is everybody okay with the words no financial financial impact? Yeah. yeah. Right. I don't think you get any shorter than that. Um, article two uh, to see if the town will vote to hear any reports from committees, boards, commissions. Um, again, not, that is not a financial. Impact. Um, I, I suppose, unless we're thinking we want to prepare something um, for the article too. But they, I was going to say we're working. We will be working on a document that's that's passed out along with the um, the warrant um, as people attend. So I, I, I think it, it's it's sort of covered by what we'll we'll be preparing. Any other thoughts from finance committee? No, mm -hmm. we, we're just, we, we're doing our mirror document to the article. So we'll, we'll just mm -hmm. leave it at that. Okay, no financial impact. Article three to see if the town will choose a committee, three West towns and residents. No impact either. Um, um, and I just wanted to say, I um, if there's anybody on the phone that needs, um, I'm not going to see a hand raise in the Zoom meeting. So if you would just uh, speak up and, and ask to be recognized, I'd appreciate it. Um, as I'm sharing at the full screen, I'm not able to see the other the other pieces and applications that are running. Um, article four, to see if the town will vote pursuant to the vision. Um, and then chapter 104 with the towns and bylaws to advise the following fiscal year 23 spending limits for revolving funds.
I just want to comment some of these formatting things. Yep. Um, they look better in the, the the real document than they do in this one. At least I, at least I hope they do. <laughs> the PDF looks great. Yeah. Okay. So is there nobody that serves on this fund now? Is, is that what it's kind of saying? I don't know. Um, it doesn't have financial impact anyways. This, this allows these departments um, to, to operate and, and put, put money into, the, into these um, accounts and have the revolving accounts. Um, no. It, no? Isn't it, this is the money that comes in for fire EMS, for example, isn't that the money from selling burn, uh, burning permits? And then they can it revolves so that they can use it to on anything they wish. The right. recycling one is the money um, that's taken in at the landfill uh -huh. to fund the landfill for permits and things for recycling. Yeah, they take the money, but they never spend it. Well, they never. I and, and maybe this year they will, but. There, I thought that the the figure in the spending limits was supposed to be the amount, the highest amount, or the amount you raised last that was came in last year. Yeah, that's a bad thing to do. And I I think these are estimated sums of coming in, but not actually what did come in. Mm -hmm. Do that? Can you estimate? I don't think it makes a lot of difference, though. I believe they're the same yeah. numbers that were in the warrant from last year. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't mean they weren't too high last year either. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, it they, if they don't, if they've not taken in twenty-eight thousand dollars, they cannot spend twenty-eight thousand dollars. They can only spend what comes in. <laughs> What comes in, and and so the the okay, so in, in the twenty eight thousand would be the cemetery. You're talking, okay. And these revolving funds do not include um, my, looking at them. I don't I don't see ambulance fund in here. Is that no? Because that's from a different source. It's not a revolving fund. It's is the money has to be voted out at town meeting. It goes into the general fund rather than into a revolving fund. We have to read these individually or just I don't think I don't think we necessarily need to read them individually. I think we can take it as as an article. Okay. And make that recommend as printed in the warrant. There you go. Yeah. I move that we recommend Article Four as written in the warrant. I'll second that. Okay, so we had a motion to accept as written in the warrant and a second. Um, any further discussion? None being heard, then we'll take a roll call vote. Jerome Dezikas, yes. Mark Hussey, yes. Andrea Wood, yes. Dan Grant, yes. John Hayes, yes. Okay. Article 5 is um, the Operating budget in in its entirety is broken down into the major sections. Um, I would recommend that we skip Article Five um, it, and come back to it, um, as that's really the omnibus budget, and, and we would be 
in the end, coming coming back to take a look at the whole. Um, we'll just leave it as that, coming back to it. Yep. I, at least that's, it, again, this is one person's opinion. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like if everybody else is okay with it, then, then we will do it this way. Okay. Maybe. Um, sorry, it's scrolling until we get to the end of it. So sorry for the eye test. Okay, Article 6. Um, being a majority vote, if the town will raise or appropriate funds outside Proposition 2.5 to balance the budget or take any other action in relation. Um, Okay, so um, we we don't have a specific amount. Um, is, is this directly related to the amount that's on the ballot? That's going to be yes. the override. Isn't this the override? This is the Isn't override. The ballot number is three hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's what's on the ballot that people will vote on the twenty fifth. Okay, so then, then this, I, it's just that where well, there was no number here, I just wanted to make sure that we're clear that Article 6 is the two and a half override that's on the ballot at 350000 Correct. Okay. We're probably do a lot of explaining on, explaining tonight on this. I think, yeah, yeah, I think that's... Yep, that's going to be a big piece of where people are coming from and, and supporting it. So, um, any any questions? Any discussion on the proposition two and a half and the three hundred and fifty thousand that this will relate to? Well, I, I, I'm sure that on Wednesday night that people will have a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. Yep, we need to. We need to be prepared to ans answer and support right. where we can back it up. So it's really like so that's that's the piece we we've, we've gone through the omnibus budget. It's kind of like we'll get back to that and and both the lines. So do we have a question now? Are we recommend that? Are we recommending the yeah? Do we recommend the budget that we've gone through the to in order to support that? budget the proposition two and a half override if i can just add not only is it needed to balance the budget this year mm -hmm. but it will put the town in a better situation next year to to fund next year's budget last year's budget left eight thousand dollars in the levy limit which is like a drop in the bucket which so it shouldn't be a surprise that we're we're over bumping against the levy limit this year and and have a, a big number to cover if you if this doesn't get passed then it will just compound the situation for next year so this is sort of this is a solution for this year and i think it will help the town balance its budget next year right Basically speaking, what you're saying is we've been getting closer and closer to zero remaining from what we've been picking up as we do the balance, right? Well, I can't speak for previous years, but I can say last year it was, you know, $8,000 is like... Yeah, nothing. Nothing. That's, that's nothing we really left over. You can't even go to McDonald's for that. So... Or family so of four. And last year, the, the budget was put together with some one-time discounts um, in insurances and things like that, um, that that helped that number. If the if we had not received some of those, we we wouldn't have even had that eight thousand dollars. We would have been into this last year. Right. 
you know, and the, the budget has been plagued with some one-time expenses that are going away through the, after this year. So some of that will help going forward is not to have those big one-time expenses. I think too, um, if people understand how, how it's going to impact their budgets at home, um, maybe it will be a little, a little better to take. We can probably explain that to you. Yeah, so oh, so. What is it, Wednesday night? Wednesday night? It's Wednesday night next week. Yep. Right. Oh, sorry. I think as a yeah. committee, we probably mm -hmm. need to recommend. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Hey, we've, we've looked know, at the budget. I'm not necessarily yeah. happy about it. Yeah. Um, Motion to approve Article Six as recommended by Finance Committee. Do we have anybody willing to uh, make that no. motion? <laughs> Nobody from the phone is making any motions. Come on, your turn. Yeah, no, your turn. Uh. I move to support the um, Article 6 for the override for $350,000. Second. Okay, so we have the motion and, and second. Um, any, any other further discussion? None being heard. Uh, roll call vote, please. Gerald uh, Bazekas, yes. Mark Hussey, yes. Andrea Wood, yes. And Grant, yes. And Don Hayes, yes. Thank you, everybody. This is a key article. Uh, we can't disagree with that. Well, you know, one thing that there are places in this budget that that I think are unnecessary, too expensive, wrong, whatever. But with the cost of living going the way it is, Sooner or later, we were going to need this increase anyway, in spite of this budget next year or the year after. Because we, with what's out, what demanded in the salaries, the cost of things. Now, we simply just can't afford to stay where we were. I don't have to agree with that. We'd have to make significant cuts in personnel and stuff. We don't. Right, this, and we yeah, don't this. have a lot of extra personnel. The, the a lot of departments are just the department head. You know, we have, probably have the smallest highway department in the entire world. <laughs> <laughs> just go over here and find somebody. <laughs> um, they do well. They're out patching our they roads. Do a great and, job. They're doing a great job on the road. No, nobody can argue that. All right, Article 7. Article 7, to see if the town will vote to transfer free cash. The fund needed to balance the budget. Um, we don't have the specific number in here. I think we said we we're going to calculate this at the time of town meeting after everything, all the other articles are posted. Is that right, Ross? Is this the one? Yes, and my preference would be to pass the next article, which is stabilization, and not use any more free cash because we've been sort of been very tight on how we use that for capital projects. But I put this in because it gives us one more funding option at the, you know, at the end of the budget. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think we would probably, oh. pat, well, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Stabilization takes two thirds vote to pass, where yeah. free cash would take a majority vote. Um, but it's there as a just in case article. Okay. And and maybe at town meeting we sh uh, we should take them out of order. Take mm -hmm. do Article Six, and depending on how that passes, you do Article Eight from stabilization. And if that doesn't work, we do it from free cash. 
to spin them around before you put them in. Yep. them in. I um, understood that, um, that the funding sequence, you're, you're looking at stabilization to, to be the first. If that doesn't pass with a two-thirds vote, then we're trying to take the funds or use free cash funds to to pay it. We Do, do we have a number for Article 8 as it stands, or is that still too much in Yes, if I can get to the recap number. Um, the deficit today is about 377, so it would be another $27,000 to come out of either stabilization or free cash to make that work. And this is where I would see us at town meeting, you know, at least Don and I getting together at the table to say, what's the right number for this article, you know, when we move it. Um, And just just talking, you you had mentioned one sixty four. So if we're taking another twenty seven, if if I think it's one one seventy one thirty seven now. No, I'm sorry, I can't get my numbers right here. It's three seventy seven is what I think the 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 deficit is tonight. So so that's the. Uh, again, 27. So if it comes from stabilization, that's one thing. And, and I thought you had said that the free cash balance would be 164. So if we use another 27 from that, that, that comes down to 130. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think it was one, yes, it was close to 200,000 after we changed some of the capital items. Okay. Um, we will work maybe on the, on the details of that. It's kind of like, um, so we're, we've bounced back and forth between Article 7 and Article 8. Do we want to discuss them in, in order here or the preference that it looks like we would go and go to Article 8 in the town meeting and ask for the, the 27000 to come from stabilization? And if it doesn't come from stabilization, then Article 7 gets brought. Don, I, I'm... Just totally confused. Okay. Yep. If yep. we have a deficit of three hundred and seventy thousand at seventy-seven thousand dollars, yep. where do you get the twenty-seven from? Um, the three fifty is the override, so three seventy-seven. Oh, minus. planning on the. Oh, okay. No, I. Yep. You know, I never think of things as being in done until they're done. So. I left that out of my mind. Thank you. Oh, so, Andrew you, bring, Andrew, you bring up a good point. If the override fails, either at the election in, on the 25th or at the night of town meeting, then I would recommend the, the motion to take out of stabilization would be 377000 out of stabilization. Mm hmm Not the best answer, but I think it's. If it has to be, it has to be, I guess. You know, stabilization is reasonably healthy at a million two. I have, we have checked with bond council and taking out this amount would not impact our bond rating. I think it would behoove the town to plan to start, you know, a replacement 
plan going forward. But honestly, that was in my initial budget calculations this year was to put money back in stabilization, not take it out. But it didn't work out that way. So we, again, I, I think we're, we're pretty much between articles seven and eight, maybe doing, maybe doing a, a juggling act about how much, um, because there's a, there's only 164, so you want to be able to totally fund it out of, out of free cash. So we're, do, we're doing some. I mean, it's nothing stopping you from splitting it between them, but it's yeah. it's plain to just take take whatever you need out of stabilization versus try to split it between the two accounts. Right, and then if if and when it's possible, we replenish stabilization. Yeah. Right, and it won't hurt us on Right, that's yeah. The direction from the selectmen and my feeling as well is we ought to try to keep some money in free cash just in case of something coming up in the fall on a special town meeting is needed. Mm -hmm. Yep. Agreed. It's, you, know, it's, you don't know what's coming around the corner. So we gotta, we need, we need to be able to react to that. Okay, so back, back to the warrant part of, um, and we did we again we're not going to have the number um, until we know what whether Article Six passes whether it passes on the, on the ballot and all that. So um, the numbers that we're putting into um, it, it's now just support. Do we support? Um, Article Seven and Article Eight um, to support fully funding the budget without the override. Is it, it, if 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 we get the override, the amount to fund the we'll budget change. will change and come down significantly. So we still have the exact final number for. Mm. Yeah. I think again we have to do it. Yeah. So I'll make the motion. Uh, is it article seven? Articles, yeah, let's let's do both together. Okay, for article seven as written. Yeah. Four. Hey, do we have a second for supporting? We had motion by Mark and a second by Geraldine. Um, any further discussion? No. Okay, then roll call vote. Jerome Bazikas, yes. Mark Huffy, yes. Andrea Wood, yes. Sam Grant, yes. John Hayes, yes. Um, then following, we'll make Article 8, um, supporting that to use stabilization funds to support the budget. We'll make the motion. We recommend Article 8 as written. Second. Okay, we have the motion and the second. Um, any further discussion? None being heard. Roll call vote. Carolyn, yes. Mark Huff, yes. Andrea Wood, no. Sam Grant, yes. She's right, though. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Don Hayes, no, it's kind of, it, it still is recommended, but <clears throat> is three to two on that one. It, and again, it probably has more to do with the total if the override doesn't pass. We, um, and using 377 versus, I, I support this 27 easily. It's the 377 that I'd have trouble with. Um, 
coming up and, and dipping that far. And again, you we take 377 from the 1.2, we're coming, there's only 800,000 in stabilization. So we're, we're coming. Uh, it, the, the, uh, it, and again, that's commentary. It's, it's nothing. It is recommended by a three to two vote. That's all. And, and again, doing, yeah. Um, article. Article nine, to see if the town will vote to fix the salaries and compensation of all elected officers of the town provided by Mass General Law. Um, is, I'm not seeing any- the town clerk salary. No. Essentially, and, that's what it is. It's a town clerk's, and that's in the ominous budget. Okay, I think so this is part of our okay. pro forma article. Uh, um, okay, I, because it, it's not specific, so that, that's the piece. So I just want to make sure. I thought we voted that in voted. December, that we voted that the 1000 would would be uh, part of the compensation going forward. Yes, but this allows you to to. She put her salary in the budget, but because she's the only paid elected official in the past, we've had others paid. However, she's mm -hmm. the only paid uh, official. You need this for the money to be raised to pay her, even though it appears in the budget. It has to do with being elected. Okay. Okay. So it, it, it's it's that it's it's not the the. The other part that we voted in in this, uh, no. this type of okay okay and understood thank you still, still catch okay um, and okay then we are we are good understood any other questions regarding this article none none being heard do we have a motion to recommend article nine. At, in the annual town meeting. I'll make the motion that we... Not sure what I'm making motion for. Recommend article nine. Did, did it, Sam, did I hear a question about what we're recommending? Uh, yeah, I, it's fine with that one. I got a question, we'll go back a couple in, after this. No, we need to raise the money to, uh, that's already in the budget. It's yeah, a technicality this, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, it, it's a technicality of us paying elected of officials rather than appointed officials. Um, right. And, and the only elected official is the town clerk at this time. Right. Um, right. It, so this, yeah, so so it is um, along, along those lines of we're hitting it. So we had the, the motion and the second. Um, any further questions or discussion? Not on that. None being heard, then we'll take a roll call vote on article supporting Article 9, recommending Article 9. Make a motion to support Article 9. It's read. I'll second it. Okay, and roll call vote. Carolyn Pasekas, yes. Mark Hussey, yes. Andrea Wood, yes. Sam Grant, yes. John Hayes, yes. Don, can I back up uh, to this 377000 from, uh, mm -hmm. you know, if the override doesn't pass? Yeah. we got to pay the bills, right? Uh, and I'm, I don't like the idea of having an override, but my impression is that we have been getting closer and closer to zero, you know, what we take into what we spend, and that this will help stabilize a the future um, budgets from getting so close to zero if we get an override with my family if I get the numbers correctly the override <laughs> is 350,000 my place according to what the town just told me this spring when it was tax time is worth 300,000 the multiplier for the tax rate is 0.31 divided by a thousand. 
um, that gives me, according to this calculation from the, uh, the uh, spreadsheet that was sent us last week, uh, a $93 annual increase if I read everything correctly, correct? I think that's, that's right. That's the number. Yeah. Yep. 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 So I'm getting hit for less than $25 a quarter. The bank Just steals more than, than, than that from me. Why don't I let the town steal a little? Well, I mean, that's... Yeah. I, mean, I am personally concerned about inflation. It's killing us here. Horse feed is up. I don't know what the percentage is, but it's up from around eighteen dollars to near twenty-eight dollars. Yeah. Fuel, as you know, you know, mm -hmm. it, uh, is up from two fifty plus or minus in diesel to it's stabilized right now around five bucks. Yeah. But you know that five bucks is fifty cents a mile. If I have to go to um, you know, what if you do the Concord Parade or you know the the uh, the Minuteman Park coming up, um, mm -hmm. you know that's um, you know it's, it's yeah. a sixty dollar round. It's a sixty dollar round trip just to get the horses there for you know for the public benefit. Um, and yeah, so everybody else has a different story, but they all got the same end meeting. We are all suffering, but I think we need to support our own town at the same time. And uh, an extra hundred bucks out of my pocket, you don't I think it's worth it if we can sell it to the rest of the public? You sold it to me with this chart. Yeah. Well, and that's that's a good piece. I mean, that's that's what we need to try to do, and that when we get to next Wednesday, um, that's what we're looking to do is get that story out. Um, and it's not a story; they get the get the facts out so that it's understood right. that the. Um, that yeah, it's mm -hmm. not just covering this year; it's helping with the future. It's helping with the future on top. Of, yeah, on top of it because we're we're kicking up what the tax base is, which means when you get add two and a half to it, you you get a little extra kick into into next year. So that, um, yeah. you know, as, as as we continue to feel inflation pressures on on certain cost items, um, that hopefully we're not feeling it as as tightly in the budget. Yeah. So, so, so yeah, the only, it, reason, it, the only reason I agreed with the three seventy seven has to do with the ability to fall back if everybody says no. And that's for, yeah, got to yep. go, got to pay the bills. Period. We we got to pay the bills, and we're trying to make it easier on you by by easing you into it this year with an extra, you know, depending on the price of your property. Um, yeah, I, I, exactly. Yeah. Um, you know, try, try to ease you into it so that we're not really in the hole next year. When we come to budget and, That's the uh, only reason I went with the, uh, I voted iffy yes on the, uh, that three to two we did for our article, whatever. Article the six, we support the, the three, the, the override. Yep. Right. It was only because you need a fallback. Yep. Okay. You gotta know what next pocket is when that pocket dries up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe a couple of pictures. Okay. Um, article ten. Um, the this this is the water enterprise department. Um, where we're voting to approve one point um one million five hundred sixteen thousand three hundred and seventy six dollars um from the water enterprise. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. Yeah. And in order to fund the cost of the inter municipal two hundred and seventy three. Well, that's the water enterprise money. Okay. Yep. So they that's the you know what water enterprise and then they're they're taking and they're transferring back to right. um, the interim municipal um, and, and the two seventy three that comes back for indirect charges is based upon an elaborate multi step spreadsheet that Terry ran up um, that counts you know the insurance we pay for them, the liability we pay for them. 
a percentage of accounting time to process their bills, percentage of legal time to cover them, and it's a number that the um, Water Commission and the superintendent have agreed to. <laughs> it's less than I was hoping for, but it's one that we can <laughs> mathematically justify. Um, how does it compare to last year? I believe last year the town administrator put in 300000 but what was actually taken out was 243000 Okay. I thought it was higher last year. That was why. Um, yes. I think he picked a number versus sanitizing it with, you know, our best guess and what real expenses are. So I tried that strategy too. I tried to pick a number um, that was much higher, but um, the facts came out and I was persuaded that I had to use the 273, the lower number. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I, thought, I thought that uh, this amount was figured fairly exactly on the cost of, of health insurance and treasurer time and accountant time and, and things like that. I, um, I didn't think there was very much guessing here. <laughs> um, no, you're, Andrea, you are right. I think it was wishful thinking for what the town administrator picked last year, and I tried that same strategy of wishful thinking but I was corrected when I saw that there was actually a spreadsheet that I think reasonably accurately estimates these costs. So that's what we've done is use the reasonably accurate method. Thank you. It's always best to know exactly where you are, whether you like being there or not. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have something you can justify versus just a wishful thinking number you pull out of the air. Yeah. Okay, so um, any further questions on Article 10? No. Do you have a to recommend Article 10 to town meeting? I'll make the motion that we recommend Article 10 as written in the warrant. And a second? I'll second, second that. Okay. Uh, Darrell and I, I think Darrell and District yeah, 2. Like, we're, we're close. I only need one second. And real quick, any other discussion? None being heard, then we'll take a roll call vote. The board is yes. yes. Mark Hussey, yes. Andrea Wood, yes. Sam Grant, yes. John Hayes, yes. Okay. <laughs> now the big one. Article 11 for the water treatment plant requires the two-thirds vote. Um, this is... Long article. Um, Dave had come in and presented um, to us and and discussed the article. Um, and I would suggest we're probably in the same spot where we know that we the anticipated um, cost of the fourteen point nine million um, for. Um, creating the um, treat water treatment plant. Um, water is critical to the town and getting rid of the PFAS is, is, is a requirement um, and it's going to help continue to support the, the town. We, um, he also stated that if we don't get this in place, um, it is likely that um, we will be running under under limited um, water um, usage rules. Um, 
because th this Harbor Trace supplies um, 40, 45% of the town's water. Um, what, one of the things that I have to, I, I think has to be stressed at town meeting mm -hmm. is that this debt and all may raise your water bills and things, but it does not directly impact the omnibus budget. We have to vote the mon their monies out of the of the enterprise fund, but it's not tax our tax dollars. It's only water receipts that are funding this. Thank you. I I think people get we well, see a big big sum and they think oh no wonder we can't afford anything because mm -hmm. they don't know where the proper place for things belong. I, I'm just putting that quick note in there um, so that we can, um, and thank you for supplying that you, information. You add to that note, it will increase water rates, but not taxes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. We'll so I, I, I don't want to necessarily get into um, I, get I want to get the important points in here. We can words I can wordsmith it outside to, to hit to hit the pieces. Um, any further discussion or questions on Article 11? None being heard, do we have a motion to recommend Article 11? Make a motion to recommend Article 11. So I'll second it. Okay, so we have a motion that made and seconded. Um, any last questions? None being heard. Um, roll call vote, please. John Bazikas, yes. Mark Bussey, yes. Andrea Wood, yes. Sam Grant, yes. Ace, yes. And we have Brad. Thank you. Thank you. Article 12, the capital. Our capital items. In this case, it, to see if the fund will raise or appropriate for transfer the sum of three hundred fifty thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. Some of these were not going to be. Ross was thinking to take. Ross, was some of these you were going to maybe think about taking out? Or did that happen, or I not? believe I, I believe we've already taken out the ones that were. were going to skip. Welcome. Okay. Yeah. The, the the archiving. Um, yeah. 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 Is not here. Um, the Townsend Harbor re repair. Mm -hmm. um, the old Harbor Station painting. Yeah. Is not here. Um, so this. No, I'm sorry. It's kind of like so. We we are still doing the exterior repair. The well, the ten thousand, the ten thousand dollars to the harbor fire station, not the old fire station, but the harbor oh. fire station. Oh, the siding or whatever. The yeah, repair. that had been planned for a couple of years, and it was in the fire department budget this year. And we said we'll take it out of the fire because it was already in the facilities budget. Yeah. And the, the there was a strong feeling that this this work needs to be done this year. So that's why that's staying there. Yeah. 
it's a problem typing the code too well, so. Is there going to be any mention of the articles that are taken out saying no action or anything? Or what's, what? how are they going to handle that? Uh, not at town meeting. We certainly will discuss it at the um, informational session. And, and if, if it comes up that people are complaining about the budget, we'll say, you know, we have taken out a lot. Okay. I mean, it certainly can be mentioned, but the, the sense was, was not to confuse people by having articles in there and then say, oh, we're not going to move this one tonight. I thought it would be cleaner to show just the ones that the select board agreed to pass forward. I thought we were looking at car two also. That seems to be on my notes for the last yes. week. And as far as dropping it? Yes. It had the double asterisks on it. It was a lot of discussion at the select board meeting last night. It, um, and it took a while, but I believe their outcome was to keep it. And what we'd heard is is there this is more efficient for them to send out um, either EMTs or the inspector in an SUV than to roll a major engine as a way to transport these people out for inspections or that type of thing. So this is sort of a, an attempt to be more efficient. Okay. Okay. Yep. Um, any any further questions or I um I have now I have a problem with this. Mm -hmm. When we resort to free cash, that means that tax dollars we can't afford it. So we're using free cash, one time money for a one time purchase. Okay, but we're not. We have continued um, things on here, um, like the lease for the, the police cars. I would hope, I, I know you can't promise. I know no one can promise. Yep. But that it goes back into the budget next year because it's not something that can be dependent on whether we have the money or not. A lease agreement is a lease agreement. Andrew, um, I agree with you. Um, actually, the 70000 is actually in the ominous budget. So it's part of the police budget as, as being recommended and hopefully voted. Yeah, but it's going to be funded with free cash. Yes, yeah. we are supplementing that ominous budget with free cash. Next um, year, hopefully, it can go back to being funded from regular money, right? From tax dollars? Because, yes. Oh, okay. That that's all. That worries me a bit. Well, that we've spent so much this way to procure things that we won't be able to afford them at all next year. Yes, and I heard your arguments and Chief Sartell's arguments about wanting to keep it in the operating budget, which which I have done. It's just I'm supplementing it with free cash. And yeah, I, I, I understand. I understand what you did, and I understand that this year, due to spending, that um, we're in an unusual situation. But um, I'd like to see some of these. I'd, I'd like to where we went, could eventually, if not too long, get back to a, a, an amount for capital planning and then let them afford what they can and lay it out whatever they can for X number of years. How much did how much money was in the capital planning account? There's $106,000 in the um, capital stabilization account. Okay. That's a little more than I thought there was. And, and, there's a subsequent article coming down here that will put 41,000 back into that account. Okay. Cause I'm, you know, I'm trying to rebuild for long-term use. Good.
Okay. Any any additional questions, concerns with Article 12? I don't have, I see what a pain in the ass I am. Um, the conservation line item is way under. It's supposed to be 10,000 or more. I know they talked about it this fucking thing. We talked mm -hmm. about it before and decided to leave it here. But I still think it should be a separate article because it does not meet the qualifications of a capital purchase. Just to get in my old two cents. I guess I would say point noted, and this is the way the selectmen and the town administrator decided to present it. That's fine. <laughs> it's it's worth. Sorry, I just gotta make no. I feel you have the right to be wrong. <laughs> Thank you, Andrea. You're welcome, Don. Yep. I'm afraid I've got to be excused now and shut down. I'll uh, have to go. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, Sam. We, without you, we still have a quorum, so we will continue on and we'll right. catch up next next time. Thank I appreciate you. that. Thank you very much. Bye now. Good night. Okay. Uh, Sorry, I'm just making how to check capital plan. Um, requirements, rules, whatever. Um, see, see where it is. It, it, the 10,000 comes to mind, but I don't know if there's any exceptions written into um, the capital plan. Oh, for the qualified. To, to qualify. Yeah, right. You know, is there something that, that fits there that, that, you know, does this? Or is it something that, you know, charter would need to change and, and allow for an exception here and there. Um, but, I, would agree, I would agree with Andrew that there's a ten thousand dollar floor to for right. capital. It, what, what I what I interpret that to mean is that's what the capital committee will discuss. It doesn't it doesn't alleviate the need to still we have to find we have to allocate funds. The town has to appropriate funds to pay for this. Mm -hmm. And I pull this out of the operating budget because it's a one-time expense that we've been trying to get, you know, lower the operating budget. Um, I don't think there's any sin occurred because it's in here as a capital item. Mm -hmm. Right. It's, but, it's hey. below the capital committee's purview, but mm -hmm. I think still weighed in and said they, that they supported it. And that, it, fair enough. Again, I think it's it's the support. If there's if there's questions, if there's people that have served on these boards before, um, they may have these kinds of questions. So we we need to be there to be able to uh, support and, and back it up and and provide them the that information. So, uh, so the the thing is, I I do support the mm -hmm. conservation commission. I do think they need those things. I just don't think it's a capital purchase and belongs there. Uh, we're not arguing the value of the purchase. I mean, I'm not arguing the value of the purchase. No, no. It, it, again, it gets to that, that discussion about, you know, capital planning has, has you know, the capital um, plan. It talks about the $10,000 $10, um, being the trigger point. So, that's that's all I you know I we understand it but if if somebody has the question they're going to ask they're going to look at it and say is there a missing character in here is that ten thousand five hundred um, <laughs> just just all I, you know it's kind of yeah. like it, it has that look of of um, not being like all the others yeah. Could you make the peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Okay. Um, so, um, where? Um, if there are no additional questions on Article 12, can I ask for a motion to 
recommend. Make a motion to recommend Article 12 as written. I'll second that. Okay, so we have the motion by Geraldine, the second by Mark. Any further discussion? None being heard. A roll call vote, please. Gerald Bazikas, yes. Mark Hussey, yes. Andrea Wood, yes. Don Hayes, yes. Okay, get back to the right page. Article 13, another capital plan to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate borrow transfer the sum of $1,060,000 um, for the purpose of funding the capital plan or replacing a fire engine two, forestry two, and the six wheel dump truck for the highway with plow and sander. I'll make a motion. Uh, just, what, yep. Why is this two articles? I broke them out by the uh, voting yeah. quantum, uh, yeah. the, for, the previous one was is a majority vote, and this one's a two-thirds vote. Okay. So the, okay. the, the funding source, the last column here, All right. free cash yeah. versus the borrow down here. Yeah, usually they just put it in and do it borrow. Okay, that's fine. I, 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 that, thank you. Mm-hmm. So if the moderator chooses to, to, to move the article with all three line items, it's one vote, and, and you have to use this, the right quantum when you vote. Mm. This is a two-thirds because of, yeah. So the, the other one is simple majority, um, because it's using existing funds. This, this is borrowing to, su to support it, so it becomes a two-thirds vote. And with everything that we've gone through, it's kind of, we know having capacity in the, in the fire department um, helps keep our insurance rates where they are. It's kind of like if we lose capacity, it's potential for insurance rates on individuals to go up. So we've hit all of that before. So, um, any other questions on Article 13? Then being heard. I'll make a motion again. I'll make a motion to um, move the motion as read, as printed. Mm -hmm. And a second. I'll second that. Thank you, Mark. And a. Uh, um, any further discussion? None heard. Can we have a roll call vote? Jennifer Bazekas, yes. Mark Hussey, yes. Andrea Wood, yes. And Hayes, yes. We recommend. Article 14. Let's see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate borrow transfer from available funds in the Treasury, the sum of $101,588 um, for the purpose of funding the ambulance. What year in the lease are we in for the ambulance? I don't know. At, le at least the second, because I know we've ha we had a warrant article like this last year, but I don't know exactly. Mm. I will find out. Why isn't it in capital? 
<laughs> because it's it's a different funding source. This one's coming out of ambulance receipts. Right, but it's still the there you have you can always have multiple funding sources in capital articles. As much as I didn't like the one that was in there, I don't like that this one is out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I can't win everything around here. Um, I guess there's no pleasing me at all. <laughs> um, it could have gone in there. It, it, um, but yeah, it, it's kind of like, and, and I think we, we we had this discussion a little bit on Tuesday, as I recall. We were talking about transferring about four hundred thousand from ambulance receipts into the general fund, and then one hundred and one five eighty eight was going to be um, for the lease for the for the for this lease to cover this. So I I think that's just the background information to be provided that um, so that. We we are supporting. We would be supporting an article that is transferring funds from from ambulance receipts into the general fund. Some of which would be specifically to fund this. It's right, not so a would, uh, would regular tax dollars pay for that? If I'm making sense, if mo the lease is going to come out of the ambulance. It, fund. The, the lease is coming out of the ambulance fund. Receipts fund. Um, because they're transferring enough in to cover it, then there's a bit more that covers some some of the expense of the of the fire of the fire EMS. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah. Monies have to be voted to a specific thing. The amount that's needed for this, um, it just can't be in a general pot and taken out and given it. No, it the it, the funds have to be dedicated to this article. Yes, and if you look at Article 5, it, it talks about um, transferring from certain accounts to certain accounts. So it specifically says, sorry, it is, yeah. there's the ambulance receipts going to operate EMS. Right, but it doesn't say it to operate EMS. That's right, but it doesn't say to pay a lease payment on the on the. Ambulance, and I think it has to say that it, when we bought ambulances or whatever before in capital planning, it's always been specific to the thing, not to a general place, because then it can be used generally and not necessarily where it needed to go. So I believe the, the motion for that ambulance article will read, we'll to read, transfer, great. Will read to transfer from ambulance receipts. Great. Great. Okay. Yeah, all right. Okay. Article 12. Sorry for the scrolling again. Did we vote on that? No, we. Yeah. yeah. No, we. we on um, 14? 14. No, we, we hadn't. We were in the discussion phase looking, looking at the amount. And okay. Uh, so. We were we were discussing Article 14 and, and where it comes from, and and it took us back up to that portion of Article 5 where we're transferring the funds. Right. So the article that'll be written will dictate that, correct? Yes. It's generic. Oh. The motion, the, the warrant article is generic. The motion will be specific. Mm -hmm. And it's a motion that ultimately counts. So that's fine. So we make a motion as written, or we could, um, we no. I think I think we would. the The motion would be to recommend Article Fourteen with the motion um, at town meeting to use ambulance receipts to fund. So moved. Second. And did, did that make sense to you, Andrea? Kinda. Uh, I'd, I like it a little bit different, but 
counsel okay. usually helps to develop the motion, so I'm sure it will come off correctly. I mean, just for our sake. Of for, for our sake oh, we, yeah, for our sake, it's just fine. Yeah, right. we, we're going to recommend it and and also with with the statement that that says the motion will will specifically say that it comes from ambulance receipts yes okay then a roll call vote on article 14. Jerome Dezekis yes. Maracasi yes. Andrea Wood yes. John Hayes yes. And if I have spelling, I'll correct it in spell check later. Article 15, majority vote. To see if the town will close out old warrant articles and reallocate to the capital stabilization account. Um, this is what Ross was talking about a short time ago. The um, amount will be 41663 dollars and 75 cents um, and it looks like there was a total of five articles that um, I mean it, um, they these had been voted at annual town meetings or special town meetings and the work is completed and there was still a balance left in these accounts I recommend what article is this? This is 15. I recommend we, uh, or I make a motion, we recommend article 15 is written in the word. Okay. Do we, we, we have a motion and a second. Um, any further discussion or questions? Then being heard, uh, roll call vote, please. Mr. Zekas, yes. Mr. Cussie, yes. Andrew Wood, yes. And Don Hayes, yes, sorry. I hate when that happens. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. The funding from the, wait a minute, where's the, no, I, I just, I'm sorry, I just, I read it incorrectly. I my I must have jumped to another line. Nothing. Thank you. I'm sorry. Okay, that's okay. There's a lot of jumping going back and forth here. In article sixteen. Let's see if the town will repurpose the balance of a ten thousand dollar from Article Seven Annual Town Meeting in July of twenty fifth, twenty twenty. A dump truck to purchase a used pickup truck would take any action there too. Is this for for uh, the cemetery or is it um, It yeah. Mm. Um, and this really has no impact because the money has already been raised. It's just changing the use of it. Right, changing exactly. the use, but it it. It, the question is, which department is this? It is cemetery. If I, oh, no, that's different. I'm sorry. No, no, no. no the just is, the, it is description down below. Yeah. The, um, the original dump truck was. Okay, yeah. yeah. Was, was, um, the motion will probably say, to see that the cemetery is mentioned in the motion. And right, right. In, yeah. in, in, no question. I was just curious. Yeah. No, just. Yep, it, it, like you have to read the whole thing in the in the description, not just the the motion. The, the money came from Cemetery Parks, and we're going to put it, let it go back into a vehicle that Cemetery Parks will use. Yeah. Um, that vehicle came up like two days ago, so it's mm -hmm. a bit of a, 
surprise, capital planning has not discussed it, but it's it's here for you to decide and eventually the voters to decide. Apparently and the truck they have now is dying. It it is. In, the, kind of in the past we have never we have not um changed the use of capital mm -hmm. planning money except with capital planning's commission. But by the same token, in the past they have always approved of the change of use because they've always felt that the department knew what they needed the most. Their money, so. mm -hmm. yeah. okay, I'll make a motion. We uh, recommend Article 16 as written in the board. Second. Okay, we have a motion by Mark and a second by Carolyn. Um, any further discussion? And none being heard. A roll call vote, please. Jerome Bazinkas, yes. Mark Hussey, yes. Andrea Wood, yes. Don Hayes, yes. Okay, to see if the town will vote to appropriate from the PIG excess receipts reserved account funds equal to 5% of Comcast gross annual revenues and authorize the Board of Selectmen and Town Administrator to spend and distribute the funds to Towns and Community Access Media on a quarterly basis for the purpose of funding the production and broadcast of such riveting shows as the FinCom meetings. Um, Egg Access. Oh. Uh, um, I don't know. It kind of, um, Rush, do you have a, a, what the acronym for the PEG access is? Public Education and Government. Okay. Thank you. And that's, that's what TCAM is. That, that's right. exactly. So, yeah, TCAM. TCAM. So, it, it, I think it used to come into, um, the, the, the general fund, and then there was, it was expensive. It, it, well, and then TCAM was formed, and now it's transferring there. So it stayed within the operations of um, the town mm -hmm. government at, at a time. Now that TCAM has been formed, it's... So you want to go directly to them? But yeah, so this is, this is, we're taking in the money that, because the agreement between um, Comcast and the town is the money comes to the town and then this is the um, funding source and the town is taking it and funding the, the TCAM. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. So, so I guess it, it is a financial um, and the TCAM has been doing a fabulous job as far as I'm concerned. It's kind of like um, very helpful with setting everything up, the town meeting, you know, the, the things they do at town meeting and, and setting that up and, and organizing that. Um, so, um, any other questions regarding? Will we have um, uh, some to know what the 5%? Yes, the, the, the motion, the motion will, will specify the amount at the moment there's $131,212 in that account. Last year, it was 195, so 195,000. So when we get to town meeting, we will, the motion will have the amount that's in, in the account at that time. For, for discussion purposes though, you'll, you'll present those amounts for the discussion on Saturday or Wednesday or whenever that, that yes. is funny. Yeah. Yes. And one might suggest this has this is under the category of no financial impact because it's Comcast money that we're just holding in an account that we then allocate back out to TCAM. So it's not right. 
taxpayer money. It's cable subscriber money, but not taxpayer money. Yeah. And that's, I think that's very important for the public, uh, particularly in this budget, to understand. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna take care of acronyms kind of that way. Um, okay, any further discretion discussion on Article Seventeen? None being heard. A roll call vote. Gerald Bazikas, yes. Mark Hussey, yes. Andrea Wood, yes. Hayes, yes. Did I go out of sequence? Did I hear a motion no. that we were going to support it? Did I, did I jump the gun? I may have, but I'll make the motion. I'll second oh. it. Okay, sorry. And we're one, gonna, one, okay. Andrea, are you good with that? For Oh, yes. Okay, thank you. Article 18 to see if the town will vote to raise appropriate borrower transfer free cash $5,000 to defray the charges and expenses for execution of the town's 300th anniversary celebration to be held in 2032. Done that for the last few years. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll that. Mm -hmm. as, as, as written in. I'll second that. Okay, so we have a motion to. Recommend Article 18 has been seconded. Any discussion? None being heard. A roll call vote, please. Alan Bazikas, yes. Mark Hussey, yes. Andrea Wood, no. And Don Hayes, yes. Okay. Okay, sorry. It, uh, Article 19, to see if the town, town will vote to raise appropriate borrower transfer available funds to the Treasury to sum of $8,000 for the purpose of funding the assessor's FY23 periodic inspections and property data verification program. Um, it's, it, and again, this is a mandate from the Massachusetts Department of Revenue. Yeah, there's no Bureau choice. Of all yeah. And um, yeah, so it's a program we, we have to do, and then this would be a separate plus to pay for it. It's not coming out of their normal budget money. It, it would be this article that funds funds it because it's not an ant something that they do on an annual basis this is every three or four or five years on that program. All right, I'll make the motion that we recommend Article 19 as written. Okay, and a second. We have a second from Geraldine. Any further discussion? discussion? Questions? None being heard. A roll call vote, please. Gerald Masikas, yes. Mark Hussey, yes. Andrea Wood, yes. And Hayes, yes. Okay. Um, Article 20 is setting the fees for documents from town clerk. I don't, as much as additional revenue, I don't think it's a 
Right. I um, and I'll ask for Andrea's guidance. It, it um, is it something we as finance committee should comment on, or or is this just changing the general laws and the and the fees and and it's set by um, the bylaws of the town? No. Um, it, it, it would be set by the bylaws, but I, I think showing a support, ours is the lowest in the area. Some are even higher than $10, but $10 is about the medium for mm -hmm. those costs, for those certificates. So it's not an outrageous raise, and it keeps us abreast with what mm -hmm. the paperwork itself costs. Okay. Um. That being said, um, in, um, do we want to have a motion to recommend Article 20 as written? I move to recommend Article 20. A second? I'll second that. Okay. Any further discussion? None being heard. Uh, roll call vote, please. Carol Mazikas, yes. Mark Custy, yes. Andrea Wood, yes. John Hayes, yes. Okay, Article 21. To see if the town will vote to authorize a select board to acquire by gift purchase, eminent domain, or otherwise conservation trust. Um, this one. Is there a financial? Um, it's a gift purchase. No, there's no. There's no financial. No finance. Well, it does, there is no financial, but it does say. Finance, uh, of the purchase. three things, purchase is one of the, the right. things that I would find it kind of um awkward for us to purchase from another department and that just doesn't seem like likely use of fun or good use of fun it, 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 it's, it it's like when to take control over those parcels i don't believe there's any money attached to it right so the motion would say um we drop the by gift purchase or eminent domain, and you would just say which way we were getting it in the article. I mean, in the motion. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The purchase. Yeah, no, financial. no financial impact. So, twenty one. Article 22, let's see if the town will vote to transfer custody and control of the following properties from the Board of Selectmen. Presently possessed by it for general municipal or affordable housing as indicated in transfer to the Towns and Affordable Housing Trust. Is this just land or is this just land? Yeah. Unless it needs a financial. Yeah. I don't think so. Yep, so little number of acreage acreage so, um yep, it is being transferred to that towns and affordable housing trust and the housing mm -hmm. trust would probably develop it, try to sell it and right. put it and put it into the low. Um no. Okay. So Article Twenty Two is no financial, and will take no action. No, no financial impact. No recommendation. Twenty three. Okay. So this is. Uh, 
um, two roads over in the Harbor, over here in the Harbor Trace Road. And Were these roads that we do not plow them or maintain, or do we do that? These are private roads that I believe the town does not plow or maintain. If they are accepted as town roads, the town mm -hmm. would do, do so. Um, that would have an impact, anyways. Mm. It, it could have an impact. My understanding is these roads were from a subdivision built several years ago, if not longer, and are in nowhere near town standards. No. Oh. Um, the, the planning board, I believe, has recommended against accepting these roads, but this is a citizen's petition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it is submitted in the warrants exactly as they wrote it. I believe town council has looked at the petition and says it's not something that's the town can actually act upon and do, but mm -hmm. said it's a citizen's petition and it's going forward. It's, it has right. right. Yeah. Yeah. But um, it have to meet town standards and for us to plow them to keep them. Right. Yeah. So this, this citizen's petition, um, it could have a financial impact. It, it would if we Absolutely. plow them. If, if, we, if we plow them, um, if they're not up to standards, and then we we need to repair them, and we have to fix them. I don't get them up to that. That's just myself. Mm. Right, right now the the bringing the roads up to standard falls to the builder. Mm -hmm. If you if you if we start accept them and plow them, then that all awesome. that maintenance falls to us, and we all pay for what the builder should have. Paid for first to do a good job on his development. Yeah, especially if they're not up to town standard, that I, I couldn't absolutely. recommend. Mm, yeah. And and I will say I, I did a little on this, and this is Cooperage way, not cooperate way. It was it was misspelled on it's no good on a citizen's petition. Yeah. So um oh. so um where it could have a financial impact if we um, to highways and streets to, to do it? Is, is it something that we as finance committee should comment on or should we do no financial? It, it, it we, would have a financial definitely if it, it increased our, our plowing and root and the salt stuff we put down. So I think to a large degree it would help whether we recommend it or not. I think so too. Okay. We could put down a non recommended down due to the fact that the roads are not up to standard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. 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 Do okay. we want to take a vote? It, uh, I do. It's kind of like um, it, it, it sounds like we want to um, make a motion that it is not recommended um, as, as written. Um, and we can. Uh, we could give the explanation why. Yeah. Right. So yeah. it would have a financial impact. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion that we don't recommend Article 23 as written uh, with our comments concerning mm -hmm. uh, the condition of the existing road. Well, or that they're not up to town standard, that we should right. probably put it that way. Of accepting a new road. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so we, we had a motion not to recommend and a second. Any further discussion? Did Jerry Lynn second it? She she did. I did. Thank you. And if there's no further discussion, roll call vote, please. Marilyn Mazik is not re not recommending. Mark Hussey, not recommending. Andrea Wood, not recommending. And Don Hayes, not recommending. And Article 24. 
So maybe I can summarize this for you and I'll tell you where we are on this article. Yeah. Thank you. The treasurer collector found a mass general law that if the town accepts it, allows her to raise the fees for, oh, I'm sorry, let me get the right. If we okay. accept this one, it require the treasurer collector to issue a report to all the, the boards and committees that, that issue permits and licenses. Mm -hmm. And they, they could hold off or deny permits and licenses for anybody who's delinquent in taxes, which I think is probably a good process to do. When town council reviewed this article, he says, well, this is the first step you have to have you have to accept or adopt mass general law, but then you have to have another article to approve the bylaw that implements this. Mm -hmm. So this turns out will probably be the first step in its own, in its own, it's not sufficient. So it won't change anything until the next town meeting. When it does, then I think it gives the permitting and licensing boards some teeth to say, hey, you haven't paid your taxes, you're not getting a permit. So I think it's something that should be done. Unfortunately, we don't have the second half ready to go for this town meeting. Could, could we normally, under different circumstances, could we have the acceptance of the law and the bylaw on the same meeting? At yes. The same? Yes, okay. you could. Or, and I think you can, but you can also do it separately it just means that this oh. is not sufficient to do anything right now yes i i i um i don't think we this is just my opinion but to way too often we put laws on that are in unenforceable they stay there nobody goes on with the other part and it just stays there and finally they delete it because nothing ever came of it I think we should wait to put this on next year when we can do the whole thing at once. People would understand it better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They'd see the complete picture and be yeah. uh, more right to the vote. The way it's written out, it has no financial impact on us. Yeah. It really okay. needs this, to be the whole. Yeah, this is the second package. This the second piece. Um, it's going to stay in. They would have to just know, I don't know what would be yeah. No financial impact at this time. At this time, yeah. Okay, we can we can do that. Um, so I guess we make a motion to recommend with those comments, or, or not not recommend. Not recommend. Yeah. yeah. It, is it not recommend or no financial impact at this point? That, yeah. It, no, no financial, financial impact, impact at this point. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, that would be the bylaw change, yeah. right? Okay, sorry, it's kind of like that one. Okay, so I thought we were down to 24 and we have 25. So I'm just going to scroll in at 26. Excuse me. Are yep. we going to take a vote on whether or not it has no financial impact? I don't care, but I just want to know for the notes. For the notes. Um, I don't uh, think we have to. I, I didn't think we had to, but um, we make a comment without. Yeah, we. Yeah. Um, yeah, because we did say no financial impact with the comments, so it was right, really right. So, no need to vote. In my opinion. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we we're thinking no vote is necessary since we're declaring the no financial impact, so we're not 
Yeah, maybe a, a, recommend, yeah. a real recommendation. We're just adding our comments that we think the second second part is necessary. And sorry, I'm going to scroll down just to see if I can get these. Okay, just two more. Okay. Article 25. Sorry. And Article 25 is appears to be changing the bylaws. Um, wetlands. wetlands. Yeah. Um, and, an, and adding a new subsection. No disturbed zones. It's kind of so. I'm not. I don't see any anything in here that um, appears financially uh, that, that has a financial impact. But if um, it, it, the fine, it would everything has some financial impact yeah. one way or the other. But it's so small. I I think it's not. I think it's no financial impact too. Okay. Thank you. Well, and again, this is just our first run through. It's kind of I, well, we're voted, so it's kind of like if if we have any of these that that have no financial impact, and we can vote, and we want to reconsider them. Um, we can certainly reconsider them in the next meeting. Um, if we determine after sleeping on it that there's something we want to. Salute just yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, not yet. It's getting warm in here, though. Yeah, I know. Um, it's, um, Article 26 is a two third vote for zoning and bylaw adoptions and land use regula regu regulations and residential districts, residential A and B, special permit use. Commercial kennel room establishment. Yeah. yeah. Just changing it. Um, so we, we're adding the dog grooming, the dog training. So I, I don't see any financial no impact on this either. Except for the permitting would bring money into the town. Yeah. But I agree. I, I mm -hmm. it's not it's not going to be our next great source of income. <laughs> yeah. 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 Doggy daycare could get big. Kind of, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of dogs and a lot of work people going back to work. Yes. But they're mine. I was doing it three days a week, but it got rather expensive. Yep. So I'm saying no financial impact on that. Um, okay, so we've gone through everything except the big budget. Um, do we want to start on that, or do we want to start fresh I, on Tuesday? In my opinion only, um, I'd, I'd like to start fresh on Tuesday. It's been a long day for me. Um, Andrea, you either way, but I'll go with that until Tuesday. Okay, um, are we can are we gonna maybe can we extend our meeting Tuesday if needed? Um, let me check and see. Um, well, we can always go to another one, or we can go to another we, one. I guess what I'm saying is, yeah, we usually go four to five. I mean, I have no issue going, with yeah, Tuesday. or four to five thirty, yeah, yeah. Um, let me just check. <laughs> Shutting the lights out on us. Uh, the, the selectmen may be meeting. Council on aging, balance, energy. No, select, selectmen are meeting on Wednesday. Okay, um, yep. But I, but I have a hard stop at 5 o'clock. Um, I mean, you certainly mm -hmm. can meet without me, but um, yep. on Tuesday the 19th, I've got a hard stop. Yep. 
Okay. 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 And I, um, I just want to check Townsend. So it looks like we might be able to continue with the with that. So I'll, I'll reach out to TCAM and see yeah. if we can okay. open up and and go a little longer. Um. Okay, um, Andrea, um, do you want a copy of this document that I've been keeping tabs on with the recommended? Not recommended. Oh, it'd be wonderful to attach to the to the minutes. Okay. Okay. For further expl explanation, yes, that'd be great. Andrea, do you want me to pick you up Wednesday or or not? Um, do you expect me to go? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Would you like to? It kind of sounded that no, way. No, that's not really the question, whether I'd like to or not. Um, if I had my way, I'd never get out of my pajamas. Um, <laughs> yes, if you want me to go, you'll have to pick me up. I have no other source of travel. That's We'd like to see you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that's baloney. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Okay, with that, um, I would entertain a motion to adjourn at 8.13 p.m. I'll make motion we adjourn at 8.13. Okay, we have a motion to adjourn and a second. Roll call vote. Mark Hussey, yes. yes. Mark Hussey, yes. Tom Hayes, yes. Andrea Wood, yes. Okay, then I thank you all for attending. and. For an additional meeting this week and we'll see you on Tuesday.